Hi everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. It's Wednesday, April 10th. Um, I have to be to work in about an hour. Um, but I just wanted to jump on and show you what I got made this week. Um, I've only made two things, but they were quite involved and they took quite a bit of time to make. So I got picked to pattern test um, for Shannon and she is snuggle beans crochet on instagram um i will link her pattern in the description below um this turned out so amazing i think this is the most amazing thing i have ever made since i started crocheting um the critters so i knew i wanted to make special eyes for this guy and usually I will make the eyes to match the yarn that I picked, but this time I decided to make the eyes and then I would choose the yarn according to the eyes that I made. So I did film the eye making process. Um, so I will have that video for you later, um, maybe next week, but this turned out so amazing. The first time I made it, I didn't time it. I just plugged away at it. Um, I can't even tell you how excited I am to show this. Um, this is her smaller version. Um, her first pattern was the bigger version um, a little while back. And Robin and Sue had um, been tech, tech, uh, picked to test that bigger version. I was included in the smaller version and I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the guy. So I made his eyes first and I decided to make the eyes and then I decided to pick his colors based on his eyes. Like how cool is that? So, I decided to go with pale gray for the body, and then I chose cornflower for the horns, for his toes, and for part of his spikes. And then I decided to use mustard accents to tie in his eyes. And I might have to tack that ear on a little bit better. Um, he turned out amazing. I'll back up a little bit so you can see him. So there's like three different head options. There's, I'm trying to think, I should have wrote, I should have written everything down. Um, there's three head options, two tail options, three wing options, three horn options. So you can make this same guy a couple of times and change up his horns or his wings um, and you'll get a different looking dragon. Um, but isn't he amazing? Look at him. I love him. And you can go back in and stitch little nostrils, which I did. So I decided I wanted to do the curve the curve horns on him and I wasn't sure how many spikes I was going to do but I just made seven and then I kind of placed them and and then sewed them on um, I decided to go with the arrow head for his tail and I really like this one um, you make it you leave it open then you stick the tail in a little bit and then you you sew it shut so this tail is really secure and I like that. Um, I just think he's amazing. So I wanted to jump on and I wanted to film this because I'm taking him to my market on Saturday and if he sells then I want to have this already filmed and everything. So I just think I, I, some kids gonna love him, some kids gonna love him. So I made him and then I'm like, I don't even know what to charge for him. Like, 
and I didn't time myself. So I decided I have to make another one and time it. And I did. <laughs> um, so I made another one. He's super cool too. I don't know which one I like better. Um, I don't know. You'll have to let me know which one you like better. Um, so this time I chose the straight horns and everything else I pretty much kept the same because I, I liked how the first one looked. But I did want to change up his horns. I used bigger eyes. Um, the first one I used 28 millimeters and he has the offset pupils. I didn't have any more of those left so I went with 30 mils. So they're a little bit bigger but I love them. I love them. Okay, so here's the second one. Isn't he gorgeous? So I just did silver eyes and I went with black glitter, white glitter, and I think this is cardinal red. Um, I sewed his ears up a, like up a little bit more than I did on the first one. And I like how that looked out, turned out. And I like the spikes. I like the spikes a lot. So, and I chose the arrowhead tail again. How amazing is this? Um, I haven't made the bigger version of this, but I might have to. I might have to make the bigger version so you can see the size comparison. Um, so I timed everything and I wrote it all down and I timed, I timed with my phone. So I, I have everything written down. So the head, it actually took me 29 minutes and 30 seconds. So I just rounded, I rounded everything up to the nearest minute. So just his head was 30 minutes. His body was 26 minutes. Two front legs, 34 minutes. Hind legs times two, 32 minutes. So the only difference between the back legs and the front legs is one less round. Um, his tail, I think there's 49 rows in his tail. That took me 35 minutes. Uh, two ears, 14 minutes. Arrowhead tail was six minutes. Two horns was about 15 minutes. So I made one horn and then I just times the time by two. Um, seven spikes took me about 21 minutes, so just about three minutes each. Uh, two wings took me 12 minutes. They were fairly easy, like once I knew what I was doing. Okay, so that was all his parts. <clears throat> Then I decided to time how long it would take me just to assemble him. Now, it took me a long time, but I timed placing everything, pinning, pinning everything where I wanted it. And then I sewed everything on. So some people probably place and pin and then sew, but I pinned everything where I wanted it and then I sewed it. So the pinning took me quite a, quite a while to do. So just to assemble him, it took me 80 minutes. So one hour and 20 minutes just to assemble him. So the grand total was 292 minutes. I just rounded it up to 300 minutes, which is five hours. Considering the amount of work that goes into him, I think five hours isn't bad for my second time doing this pattern. So I basically charge $15 an hour plus materials. 
So I'm going to have a price tag of $90 on him, which I think is reasonable. I probably could get $100, but I'm just going to I'm going to stick to my formula of $15 an hour plus materials. Um, Shannon is amazing. This is her second pattern. I will link her Instagram and her Etsy in the description below. And I'm not sure if her pattern will be live when I put this video up, but as soon as her pattern is live, I will link this dragon in my description below as well. So, I made two dragons. So cute. I love them. I love them. I will probably make more, but I will wait until I sell one first but they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay so I gotta get ready for work and I don't know what I'm gonna make next but I want to make some more of the frog in the lily pads because I only have one left and that's mine and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna crochet for my live tonight but I love these I love these I don't know which one I like better I mean this one I kind of did the custom safety eyes so like I like that aspect about him um, but I like the simplicity of this one too I do think I like the offset eyes better so I did order more of these um, I don't know. I love the red. I think the red is stunning. But which one is your favorite? Let me know. Okay, so I will be back later with more makes. Um, I have a market this Saturday in Truro, which I've never done before. So I will have that footage later for you too. But we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm back. It's Friday, August 12th. Um, I've got one more thing crocheted, <laughs> um, so I wasn't sure how I was going to top the last two, um, items that I showed you, but then I'm like, well, I'll do Shannon's original dragon. So I made her pat or dragon that she came out with, um, a little while back. And Robin and Sue got to test that one, um, but <laughs> um, when she sent me the pattern for the uh, smaller dragon, she included the pattern for her original, and I want to thank you so much for that. Like, um, like I'm honored to do this. Like, okay, so. These eyes were the eyes that I won from Olivia, um, and I will link her um, Instagram in the description below. So these were my favorite eyes out of the eyes that she made me. Well, she didn't make, she made them, but I won them. So I'm like, I'm going to pick the colors for this guy based off of her eyes. And... It almost looks like, I don't know if you can tell, but she's got chunky glitter in the top and then down here it's like white and light blue. It almost looks like clouds. Like if you were to see the eyes close up, it looks like there's clouds down here. So I got my new yarn um, last week. This color is rain and I've never had this color before. So, and it's like a light, to me it looks like a light, light, light turquoise, which is my favorite color. Um, so I chose this color because I love it. Rain, which is the name of the yarn. And the eyes look like they have clouds in them. So, like it just, it was perfect. So, I did him in rain. Like he's magnificent. So the first dragon I did, 
I wanted to do the curved horns. The second dragon I did, I wanted to do the straight horns. So for this dragon, I wanted to do like, I wanted, I wanted to be a showstopper. <clears throat> so I took the color that was in the eyes and I did his, I think this is orchid. So I did his horns in orchid, his toes in orchid, and then I did little accents on his spikes in orchid. And then this is the green glitter from Perfect Chunky. I think it's the Sage Glitz. So I did that. Um, and he is quite a bit bigger than her new pattern. I'll see if I can show you like the difference in size. So there's quite a bit of a difference. Um, I actually took a picture of all three on my half wall. So I will insert a picture of that so you can see the actual them sitting side by side. So you can see the size difference. And there is quite a bit of a size difference. Um, like his tail has 10 more rounds to it than this one. Um, his head is quite a bit bigger. His body is quite a bit bigger. Look, look, he looks like a, he's on steroids. I think I overstuffed him. Maybe a little bit too much, but he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I can sell him. I don't know if I can sell him. Like, I'm in love with him. Um, so I figured with the time and pricing, I, I'm going to charge 90 for these guys. Um, I'm thinking like 130 for him, but I don't know if that is outrageous. I don't think it is for the size. And he's like, He's magnificent. Um, if anything, he won't sell, and I'll get to keep him. And he's going to be my showstopper on the top of my grids. So he's going to draw all the people in. And I can see a parent more willing to spend 90 than they would like 130 <clears throat> But he took, like, this one took five hours. So I know this one took me longer. Um, I didn't time every single you know, piece like I did with this one. But I'm thinking, like, he's like two hours more labor, I would say, over this one. So I think $30 more for him is worth it. But look at these eyes. I love these eyes. I can't wait. I can't wait to start, like, making eyes that are this pretty. I bought a bunch of new glitters and stuff, so um, I just gotta wait for my eyes to come in from AliExpress. But he's amazing, look at him. I love the colors, I don't know. I don't know if I can part with them. It's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be really hard, but I wanna show them off. Like, I want the world to see him. Um, and if he does sell, you know what? I can make another one. Like, if I'm really heartbroken, I can make another one. It's okay. <laughs> but I think he's beautiful. Shannon, you are amazing. Thank you so much for letting me pattern test for you. Um, this is my favorite out of all three. <clears throat> um for sure. Like, I'm really gonna, if he sells, I will be probably really upset, but I can make another one. It's okay. Um, I think, I think these are amazing too. Um, I enjoyed making these. As you can tell, I got three done in like one week. Plus I worked. Um, I did buy another pattern last week and then I got picked to test this, so that kind of distracted me from the pattern I bought last week. But honestly, after doing these, I'm going to have a hard time doing the other one. Um, I will do it. I bought the pattern. But um, I, uh, I can't tell you how great this pattern is. Um, the instructions were really good. Um, 
I, I, I struggle with the wings a little bit on this one because the wings on this were written up different than the wings on this one. <clears throat> so I had to frog a wing out once and then I got it on the second try. But I kind of like, I think I like these wings a little bit better. Now she shows you different options on how to sew them on. I decided to fold them over a little bit and then sew them on. So that's what I chose to do. Um, but there's like different horn options, there's different wing options, there's different tail options, there's different spike options. You can make the same dragon, change up your options, change up your colors, and then you get a totally different looking dragon. Like, his horns I think are my most favorite thing. The horns and his eyes. And if I do it again, I probably won't stuff him so much because he he does look pretty buff. Um, I'm going to have a hard time selling him. Um, so thank you, Shannon. Thank you so much for letting me um, test your, your dragons. And then for this pattern, like, I really, really appreciate it. Um, he's, he's amazing. He's amazing. And there's a lot of dragon patterns out there. Like, I've looked at a lot of patterns. Um, I do have uh, Red Mills Crochets uh, Sleeping Darling Baby Dragon. Um, and that one's easy to do, too. It's time-consuming. They're all going to be time-consuming because there's lots of parts to them. Um, but he's a laying-down dragon. And I, I really like this sitting-down dragon. But again, those dragons I have at 70, so they are an even cheaper option than these ones. So I think it's good to have different price points for everybody. There's some parents out there that, like I've seen them hand me a $100 bill like nothing because their child wanted something and it was expensive. So I'm okay with having the three different price point dragons. Um, I think he's worth... 130 in my mind um, and if I don't sell him I'm I'm okay with that um, but I didn't price him higher because I want to keep him I priced him because that's what he's worth um, I just can't get over those eyes like I love them Olivia you make beautiful eyes and I'm so glad I won your giveaway um, I got fluffies everywhere so I've only got the three things done so far this week but um, so I was able to pump three out, which is pretty good considering that I do work. Um, uh, I only work part time. Um, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to give them up, but I can make another one. It's all good. So, uh, it's Friday. I got to go to work in a bit. Um, I was thinking about doing that pattern that I bought last week. Um, but it's probably gonna, it's, a, it's, a, it's another detail pattern that's probably gonna take me four to five hours. So I think tonight I'm gonna work on my little frogs and the lily pads because I have none of those left for my markets. And I have a market Sunday in Truro. So I'm gonna take a step away from the dragons even though I think I can make another one, no problem. Like I could pump these out and I don't think I would ever get bored of doing this. Um, so if they're good sellers, you might see lots of dragons on my channel. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I had no problem, like, watching TV and, and whipping these up. Like, um, the first time doing the horns, um, I was in co concentration mode because there's uh, increases on one side, decreases on the other side. But it just baffles me that you can design this as a new designer like it just blows my mind away okay so the next footage you see will probably be some little frogs in the lily pads and then market footage um, I have a market Sunday and then I will show you my results um, this video I usually upload on Sunday I'm gonna wait till Monday because I'm gonna wait for the same day as her dragon release and see if that helps her with the sales um, <clears throat> but yeah they're so cute I love them 
I, I just love them. And I think they're going to gain a lot of attention. So I wanted to get all this filmed. Um, because I, I, if I sell any of these Sunday, I want to have all this filmed for you guys. So I'll be back later with some more makes and market footage and market results. Um, and thank you again, Shannon. You're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I hope I get to test for you in the future. I would test every one of your patterns, no problem. So that's it for now. I will be back soon. I figured, you know, I only got three things made this week that my video would be short and sweet, but I already have two segments over 12 minutes. So <laughs> it's going to be a, a regular, regular long video, even though I only got like three things done so far, <laughs> but I can't help it. I can't help it. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, I've decided to split up this week's video into two parts. So my pattern testing and showcasing these three dragons will be part one. Um, I'm already at 26 minutes and I still have more days to do some crocheting and then I had my market on Sunday and then I have my results. So what I make next and my market will be part two. So this week, this video will be showcasing all the dragons. Um, we'll, we'll keep it to Shannon's wonderful patterns. Um, I also wanted to mention, um, I did say that I was selling this dragon for 130 and my smaller dragons for $90. Um, I just wanted to say that I am in Canada so $130 Canadian is $94 American because I know most of my viewers are probably in the United States and I didn't want you to think that, oh, $130, she's crazy. Um, it's a different price point in Canada than it is in the States. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So part one is done and I will upload part two um, in a couple of days to show you what I made at my market that I've never been to before. So we will see you soon with the next video. Thank you everybody for watching, liking, subscribing. I really appreciate it. And once again, thank you so much, Shannon. Your, your dragons are wonderful and amazing and I love them. Uh, definitely my most favorite thing that I have ever made to date. Um, so thank you so much. Okay, we'll see you in part two. Bye everybody.